I prefer to be alone. Introversion. No shame in it. It just simply means people see me as... distant. Others think I have a failure to connect. This leads to my belief that those people have failed to connect with me. Yes, I'll be around people, I'll talk, be amused, sure. I understand that human interaction is inevitable, but here's how it actually goes. I can only handle so much at a time. After a while, people start to drain. Some people even have the power of non-stop talking. I mean, don't they ever run out of things to say? Dragging a conversation on and on and on. At this point, you probably have already tuned me out. There's only so much to be said. I don't intend to crush your thoughts, but then again, are all things meant to be said? People always think to know what's best for you. You should go out, love the world, it'll be great, they say. It's exhausting. Other people want to work with you and do great. Well, that's just great. Don't they see greatness can be achieved alone? How can you think with the constant drone of others impeding your thoughts? I'm not saying people are nonsensical annoyances. They can be, at times, but not always. People have great qualities too. Some are entertaining, some are quite intelligent, some people actually have things to share. People do care, they wish to please, it's nice to know, but still just as tiring. Even other introverts will go against the customs of introversion. It's really quite funny. Simple cues such as sitting alone or reading can imply that one desires alone time and focusing on inward thoughts. It's a cruel irony that those who prefer solitude often don't see others in solitude. No type of person is superior. Those who are empowered by the company of others may get more work done with their larger numbers. Then again, they may get distracted in roughly 20 seconds. Less things slow you down, less things can be done by one.